A Saturday in Lawrence conference game number three from Allen Fieldhouse as usual packed to the Raptors and it's a top 10 matchup as the third ranked Kansas Jayhawks entertain number nine the Oklahoma Sooners. Underway at Allen Fieldhouse. Our apologies, a little technical issue with my partner, Tim Welsh, is head. as well for the Sooners. Iona Providence head coach Tim Welch. I'm Mark Neely. Early four-point lead for the Jayhawks. Both these teams feeling a sense of urgency here today. They are, and you can see Kansas really has a pop in their step right now. They had an outstanding practice yesterday, but they're doing a good job of out and hitting the boards hard. McCollum trying to find some opening, and that's punched out from behind by Tawana Harris. Second turnover for OU, and Furby ahead of the field lays it in. For Culler defended by Darthur, and he puts up the shot with the shot clock expiring. He didn't hit the rim, but rebounded by McCollum. Hughley facing up on Dickinson. Powers his way in and gets the first foul on Dickinson with a, foul. a loss in the Bills' self era. In the second half, Mark, and meaning a lot of turnovers. For Soares off the left side. Uzan, he had, him, had it for a moment, but the run out by Darthur. Oklahoma's a good rebounding team in their own right. Even though they don't possess the size of KU, they're almost plus eight on the season. JV and McCollum can be a difference maker in this game. He's been a difference maker all year for he's OU. The best. He's, that's the best way to put it, and that's a compliment because he is everywhere. On the defensive end of the floor, he's very active, and he moves well without the ball, can get to where he wants to go to off the dribble, and can make threes. Adams turns the corner, pulls up, and... It's the shot from 14. Yeah, they've got to deny him the ball a little bit. off the floor. Seven minutes gone here in the first half from Lawrence. Six-point lead for the Jayhawks. Harris, runner, is off the front rim. Parker Brown going after it, and it bounces right to Dewan Harris. He feeds Adams going up. Hughley. Oh, but when he gets it, good things happen because he's so aggressive to the rim. He's got tremendous footwork, and you see that strength. So nine early points for K.J. Adams, and it is a nine-point lead for the Jayhawks. KU three of three from the line. All from K.J. Adams. Uzan, floater, good. Sooners needed a bucket. First one for Milos. Well, that's what he's got to do off the bounce, try to be creative, try to break that KU defense down, be more aggressive in the half court. Harris using a screen from Brown. Brown rolls in the lob to Parker Brown. Taking the defense down, and then Brown, the perfect delivery over the top. Uzan trying to get past Adams, runs into a double, hands it off to Godwin. Sam fights, shoots with the left hand, and scores. Sam Godwin, to me, may be the most last six. I think they're getting used to the environment. But they're getting used to the defense. They're spacing the floor a little bit more. They're trying to dribble, penetrate into the gaps, then reverse it quick for the three. Kissed in, nicely done by Otega Owe, and this is a guy who's really made some big. Owe, defended by Jackson. 
Midway through the first half, that ball's tipped, so McCollum is able to go back and retrieve it, but the shot clock is now at five. Down to two. McCollum's going to have to put it up, and he gets fouled by McCuller. Session game. Well, the offensive player has every right to come. McCollum 92% from the line. Juan Harris. Kick for Jackson. Kansas has become a little stagnant in the last few possessions, just passing around with not a lot of movement. Furphy, three is long. Tipped and right there is Adams. Yeah. Well, Dickinson kept that alive. He kind of poked it out of golf. Said yesterday in practice is sticking too much. Which is a cardinal sin for Bill Self. And he was upset yesterday on a couple possessions, and he called them out tremendously. Now they started the game out with good movement, now going inside the hunter. Six points for Dickinson. Well, that's been an emphasis as of late to try to get him deeper post uh, presence down there. Instead of posting up in that mid post area, carve out space right in front of the rim in the lane. Open three, Yuzan. Most of, most of the afternoon they have been in pretty good sync. Oklahoma was bitten by the turnover bug in the first half in Fort Worth on Wednesday. Committed a dozen. They have three so far tonight. Today, McCollum battling his way to the rim and somehow gets there to lay it in. Somehow, some way, there was about two inches of space and he found it with the left. And he has eight points. We flip to Harris and his three is on the way. And they made up for that last error, that's for sure. Just they do a great job of uh, off that elbow, that pinch post area. Swinging Harris and using Dickinson as a screener and a handoff man or a passer into the onto the weak side. First made three for Kansas. They had missed their first four. That's a three that rattles around and in. Now for more. Drive. Otega. It was oh. blocked by Dickinson, but Jalen Moore cleans it up. They're around. Another one from KJ, a short. Adams gets his own miss. And now we're going to the line for two. Hits them both. First points for KU and a little see that splits right there. Northweather in the game. Luke Northweather, who last played on New Year's Eve against Monmouth, played two minutes. There's Oway trying to get past Furphy. He does, lays it in and one. Dickinson has been dealing with a bruised knee, but really hasn't. Timberlake's in there as well, and he feeds the post, gets it back from Dickinson with five to shoot. K.J. Adams trying to add to his point total. It's blocked by Owe. Owe, bounce pass. Yuzan in transition, beautifully executed by the Sooners. Yeah, there. Harris. Color. Able to keep that pass alive in the corner. Dickinson trying to back down. Godwin goes to the right hand, is offhand, and scores. Now, if he has that much space, he's allowed to get the rim. Five rebounds for Dickinson. And McCuller was holding that left knee, but they find Harris after the miss. Adams, the putback. <laughs> 52 all-time at Allen Fieldhouse in the 59 games that they have played here. Trying to win for the first time here since 93. McCollum, step back. Got it. Tough shot. JVN McCollum, who has 10 first-half points. Of a mismatch on the wing. Oklahoma trying to take advantage of offensive, defensive mismatches. They're identifying them. McCuller able to somehow get that up over the block attempt by Owe. And second bucket of the game for Kevin McCuller. He bumped his knee and he kind of needed a few minutes of just some rest, but he looks like he's back to his old self. McCollum, that's a two, two pointer. And again, McCollum now with a dozen points. And he is enjoying this. This is a player that played in the Mac a year ago. Now he's in Allen Fieldhouse dancing around like this is his backyard. A sooner foul with a minute to call her on him full time. 
Thoreau that ended in the TCU game. It's both here. And Northweather just his seventh three-point attempt of the season. He had one. That was bold. <laughs> That's a good word to describe it. Now he's defending Hunter Dickinson, and Hunter shoots over him and goes to the baseline and scores. Ten first half points for Hunter Dickinson. Well, Oklahoma doesn't like to do it, but they might want to think about sending a second defender down there. They don't want to leave open shooters, but that's that's pure money for Dickinson. Valdo Suarez almost lost the dribble. We're inside the final minute of the half. Gets to the lane and it's ignored. <laughs> this time, Northweather pushed Dickinson out. They're trying to get it to Northweather, but Adams. Able to interrupt that, and here comes Kansas. They can hold it for the final shot. Harris, though, elects to shoot an open three. And now the Sooners can hold it for the final shot. Down one. Well, Bill Self was trying to call a timeout. The use it to lose it, and Harris pulled the trigger. McCollum lost the dribble. Down to two. From beyond midcourt, it would count, but it would be well short and wide right. Kansas led by as many as nine. Well, you led by as many as three, and it's a one-point game at the half. And Furphy, his third rebound, making his second start of the season and his first at Allen Fieldhouse. Adams, Dickinson. Hard to stop that little high-low game. That's what you call old-school basketball. That's the way Bill Self used to coach, a little high-low, right in the middle of the floor, a little two-on-two -two game, spaced on the perimeter. Uzan trying to get past Furphy. Milos Uzan and one. And use the length. Third foul on Furphy. Every game all year. And that was KJ Adams in the Kentucky game. Well, they solved the turnover issue as well, but defensively they're having problems with Oklahoma's quickness on the perimeter. And it is physical. They're letting him play through it. And Owe beating McCullough down the floor to lay it in. And the Sooners take back the lead. Oh, way, just no one slowed the ball down, and he found that little alley and was able to twist it home over McCuller. Back cut, McCuller returns the favor on Owe. Now both these teams are in a good... Uzan spinning around again, stops, pops, and Dickinson rebound. Long pass, Furphy the stuff. McCuller still hobbling with that left knee, but can finish with that 6-9 frame. McCollum splits two defenders, then gets stripped. Two on none. McCuller to Dickinson. <laughs> Screen set from Hughley. He rolls the shot from 14, bouncing around and out. But there is Hughley. Uh, Dickinson had to rotate. Hughley and... Dickinson again, Hunter, couple of dribbles, goes to the right hand and scores. Well, that's terrific offense by KU, just a pure win, it rolls off, and here comes Kansas. McCuller threads a pass to Furphy, who puts it off the glass, going after his own miss, but can't come up with it. La Moore all alone. Two point lead in the ball for KU. Catch and shoot three, McCuller. That's a set play called from the bench. Dribbles into the lane, shoots over Dickinson. Furphy had it for a moment, stripped. Godwin takes it back for the Sooners. Now Furphy just not strong enough yet to secure that rebound. Owe splits two defenders, blocked by Dickinson. That ties his career high. Dickinson looking for McCuller, but Godwin there. It's a, instead of bounce pass to Kevin, he directs traffic. Bumps into Owe, trying to clear some space. Missed a shot. Play, that was a set play as well. Just a total isolation from McCullough. And there goes Green. Sorez. Sooners just one of their last seven. Furphy generated that steal, punching it out from behind. Now a three at the other end. <laughs> Off the bounce. Kansas with their, has equaled their largest lead of the game of nine. The Godwin screen. Yuzan circling. 
turns, shoots the baseline jumper, good. And he did a, did a good job of just keeping his dribble till he found an opening. We're under the 12 minute mark. Furphy, another three opportunity, is off the right side, but Dickinson right back up with it and in. <laughs> He just does everything for KU. And he doesn't try to do too much. He knows what his limitations are. That's what you like about him as a player. He just he does the dirty work, and then when you, when you need him to finish off plays, he does it. Don't forget. Biggest lead of the game so far for... Oh, the minutes are about the same, but it's a different feel for them, and he's done a good job of making sure his... Star players are out there, but now he's giving Dickinson some much-needed rest with the lead. McCollum dishes it off in a north weather three is good. Just his second made three of the year. He attempted one earlier and missed it, but he's one of two now. Well, he got a nice little stroke. He's obviously knows he can shoot the ball. He shot one in the first half, and Porter didn't seem to mind. Marco Jackson stopped McCuller. Jab step now trying to go baseline on Sorez. Sorez swatted away, but got the body of McCuller. Oh, such good catch. And he's been a double figure scorer. Not a great three point shooter, especially from that distance, but KU is trying to keep the pressure on on the perimeter. He's had 28% from beyond the arc so far this year. 0 for 1 today. Northweather again. His second three and from an unlikely source. A couple of threes here in the last few minutes for OU from Luke Northweather. And here comes Hunter Dickinson into the game. And you know, sometimes you keep at it and practice and your coach sees something and says, OK, we're going to roll the dice, put you in there, see what you can do. And he's done it. Harris just floats it up and it falls through. And on the scouting report, and if he was, it was an afterthought. That's a screen for McCollum, who drives on Parker Brown, and a foul on Parker, number two. Okay. A rare three. Th <laughs> Try to attack that matchup. Some help there for McCollum on Dickinson. Jackson pull up 16 footer. <laughs> Well, that's, that's what happens, though. You try to double Dickinson. It wasn't really a double. They just kind of dug in on him. And then they, he's such a good passer. He didn't. He just read the defense and pitched it back outside. First points for Jackson in three games since the Wichita State game. Yuzan three responding for the Sooners when they needed a bucket. 15 for Milos. Much more capable than, capable than his numbers, and he's proving that today. Harris underneath, McCuller got it to go, and one. Astro intestinal system has thanked you every day of the year. That you have. And just by 10, Yuzan gets in the lane, spins around. There's Oway driving, tried to reverse it. Kansas doing a great job of helping on the dribble penetration, but without overhelping. And rebound for Dickinson, his 10th. Gives him a double at the dribble, but not over-helping where they're leaving three-point in. The Allen Fieldhouse has it. Initiating crew. Jerry Pollard, Rick Crawford, a couple of veteran guys, Chris Pacey. Harris. Dickinson with that left hand. Banks it in that time. Coming up on the five-minute mark. Harris weaving through traffic, floater good. That is vintage Dewan Harris right there. 16,300 every game. Away hits the second. Off the mark with a three. Still some time here for ninth ranked OU. Well, they need some hoops in a hurry. Moore trying to get one here. Instead, we'll go to the line on an KJ Adams foul, his second. will run a little two-man game. They'll pop Dickinson out or let him set a screen. Adams catch and shoot. Dickinson goes over the back. Or did he? Oh. 
First trip to the line today. Kind of lost in the UCF loss in Orlando. For, it'd been great from the line today. 16 of 70. Yeah, just really done a good job in all aspects of this game. Adjusting to the quickness of Oklahoma and making sure that Dickinson stays involved in the, in the offense without overdoing. This has done a better job of showing and recovering. Guard, but they've done a good job of clogging the middle, not letting him get clean looks at three from Dickinson. Got to push quickly. Long pass for Northweather. Dickinson trying to trap him there along the sideline, but driving and scoring is will take a away. Time on the run out. Soares has McCollum near side, far side. Yuzan with a three. Moore tipped it, but it's El Marco Jackson with the KU rebound. Under a half, minute and a half to go, and Dickinson slams it from Dewan. What looks like to be the exclamation point on this one for KU, and Hunter has 24. Uh, good awareness by Harris. But normally they pull it out, but when you have an advantage, you have to keep attacking, especially when you have one of the best bigs in the country standing alone right by the rim. There's the drive and the bucket there for James coming off a loss on Wednesday, Tim, and the Jayhawks at home. Look like they're going to answer the bell as Dickinson fires another three. And in and out from Hunter. Well, they certainly did answer the bell because oh, Oklahoma got punched first, but then they punched back hard. And at halftime, it looked like they're here to stay, but KU adjusted their defense a little bit, took away the lane, took away the easy attempts at the rim, got out on the perimeter, rebounded the ball, and did not turn it over in the half court, shared it, and were successful offensively. KU double doubles from Dickinson and Adams. McCullough and Dickinson, 20 plus points, and KU wins it 78 66. Final score, Kansas after a loss in Orlando on Wednesday, Jayhawks rebound at home, improved to two and one at conference as OU drops to one and two. Well, Oklahoma's here to stay. There's no doubt about that. They showed it today, but KU really improved in a short period of time. Hunter 